everybody. Welcome back to Daily Dose at Home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the Visitor Engagement Department here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we are talking about red pandas, one of the favorite animals here at the Calgary Zoo. But a lot of folks ask us, what exactly is a red panda? And for that, we actually have to take a little bit of a dive into a really cool science called taxonomy. Taxonomy is the human science of naming and classifying things. As people, it's something we like to do. We like to understand the relationships between different groups of animals, different groups of plants. But in order to kind of understand those, uh, that science, we need to learn a few terms. So we're gonna start with that and then we'll dive a little bit into what exactly is a red panda. For today, what I'd like you to understand are the terms family, genus, and species. And what exactly do we mean when we use those words? We're gonna use a little bit of a different example for today. We're gonna to talk about lions. So a species is a group of animals of one kind that can generally breed together and when they reproduce have offspring that themselves can reproduce. And a species will have a common name like African lion, as well as a special scientific name in Latin, like Panthera leo is the name for lion. A genus is a group of closely related species. The genus Panthera is the group of lions, tigers, snow leopards, the big cats. And then a family is a group of genus or genera that are all together that are again more closely related. So the Panthera are in the family Felidae, which includes all of the cats, including your house cat at home. All right, so now that we understand the difference between a species, genus, and a family, let's go back to red pandas. Red pandas are a little bit tricky. We've known about them for a long time, but scientists have put them in a few different families. They're a little bit of a puzzle. Uh, and some of that puzzle has gotten clearer in recent years because we can use DNA now to help us understand the relationships between animals. So what is a red panda? Is it a raccoon? a bear, a fox. Okay, I know about giant pandas, but red pandas eat bamboo. I'm confused, what are they? And those are really, really great questions. For a long time, we thought that uh, red pandas and giant pandas were related. They both eat bamboo and they both have a specially modified wrist bone to help with grasping and climbing. But here's the cool thing. Now that we have DNA evidence, we actually know that they're not closely related. Giant pandas are a true member of the bear family, the Ursidae, along with black bears, grizzly bears, and polar bears. Red pandas, however, are actually the only living member of their own family, the Eluridae. And that Eluridae family is actually more closely related to the otter and weasel families, skunk family, and raccoon family. So even though uh, they share features with giant pandas, it's actually because they've adapted in similar environments to eat similar diets. And so their skeletons have adapted as well. And that's why they share those features, even though they're not related. Isn't that cool? Now, today we've been exploring a little bit of that red panda family tree. So for your daily dose at home activity, we invite you to create and explore your own family tree. See how many generations you can go back. Now we know that human family trees often look a little bit different than animal family trees, but we invite you to grab out a piece of paper and see how much of your own family tree you can trace. Thank you so much for watching Daily Dose at home, uh, and thank you for being part of the Calgary Zoo family. We couldn't do any of the conservation work that we do here at the zoo without your help, so we thank you for being part of our team.